Hello and welcome to another episode with Draw With Pecs. Today we are going to be doing a rat. We're going to start with his face, um, so the head. We're going to do a pear drop, so a backwards drop. So if you start and go all the way around and and then near the end, and that's going to be his nose. So I want you to do a circle or oval. And then I want you to take it around like that. And that's going to form the front of his nose. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do nice big eyes. So kind of like a D on this side and then a backwards D on that side. And so not my standard ovals. And then we're gonna do a little pear shape or a mango shape on the inside. And that's gonna form his eyes. And rats come in all shapes and sizes. There are about 60 different types of rats. We're gonna do big droopy ears. So one on this side. And they're really good swimmers, you know. They can probably stay in water for up to three days without drowning. So amazing swimmers. So, oh, I think that ear was bigger than the other. I think that one's slightly bigger. And that one's slightly smaller. Beauty about drawing in pencil, you can make changes as and when you need to. They have super strong teeth. And guess what? A rat's, te rat's teeth just never stop growing. All right, so we're gonna do another um, pear shape, but we're gonna go in the opposite direction. And that's gonna form rat's belly. And our rat is holding a racket. So we're going to do one knee on this side, like that, and one knee on the other side. Feet close to the bottom, just curve it round. So one, two, three, and four. Same on this side. Bring this belly down, add some fluff. And the knees, same on this side. So bring it around and around like that. So one, two, three, four. And he's gonna have a nice pink tail. So we're gonna do his arms. So one on this side. Elbow. Holding his racket, so we're gonna do fingers curving round. So one, two, three. Maybe we just need to make his ears a bit smaller. We need a racket to fit right. And then again, another pear shaped for the racket. So we're gonna do a little triangle in the middle of the just curve it around. Come off the page, okay, so we're gonna make his ears just a little bit smaller. Just so there's, we can see the racket more than anything. And then stick to that side. And obviously we're gonna fit in his whiskers. So the whiskers come from this bit of his nose, which I usually would do in an outline pen anyway um, and rats are also known as baby making machines so rats can mate around 500 times in a six hour period they can have multiple babies so we're gonna do the other arm and the other arm is just hanging out and then his fingers um, just be there so he's playing tennis and then we can have a ball a racket ball a 
and then do the little bouncy bits on the end just to show we're just gonna do a little curve on both sides for the ball and then we're just gonna do hit the lines inside the racket so it's crisscross on both sides so when you're happy with the racket shape so we can actually make it a slightly more overly so over there and over there so that comes in like that and then the, the racket handle isn't actually that big so we can make the oval slightly bigger like that and then coming in and his handle there and then the V bit. And if you play tennis, you'll know what they look like. We just do the overlap of the ear on both sides, like that. Give them some eyebrows. And those are, and then we can just do um, the inside of his tummy and just make it a bit furrier. And join it all together. Oh, we forgot his tail. Where are we going to put his tail? So we're going to put his tail on the opposite side, just because. So if imagine there, when it comes around, they do have quite big, wiggly tails. Uh, two, three, four toes. Put some fur on this side for his knee. But you know how it goes. We'll find out as we're going along to see if there's bits that we missed or stuff that we want to add on. So maybe we'll just do the furrows on his elbow as well. Like that on both sides. Um, his whiskers we've done. His nose, I'll turn him more into a triangle. We can do a shiny bit. So if you just do tiny little triangle, that will make it a shiny bit. And depending on the angle that you use, you might want to show his teeth. Like uh, Rat's teeth never stop growing. So he needs to nibble them and keep them trim um but there you have it that's our rat with a racket so we need to now grab our outline pens and start outlining start off with his nose so this is what i was trying to talk about but i don't know if i explained so the shiny bit for his nose if you want to add it in whiskers either side we're gonna do backwards D and then the mangoes his ears um ears that's his do some dots on his nose then we can do his head shape all the way around like so and then we're gonna do his ears overlap of his ears, his hand coming down, Tennis racket going up the grooves for the rubber bit. 
and then flood it around over at the top. do the inside there, there, and then crisscross. so it just helps to give them a bit of shape. Side, bow for the knees, coming down, and start with a small toe. One, two, three, and then join it back up again, and then his tail. So we want what you want to decide on his where his tail is coming from, and then literally doing the first one, the first line, and then it just literally widens. As you're coming down, and there you have it. That's our rat with a racket. Like I said, if you wanted to, you could put some teeth in there. Do you want to put some teeth in? I don't know. Let's see what it would look like. Now nah, we're going to leave his teeth. Time to colour. See you in a moment. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. I hope to see you soon and join me tomorrow for the next video. Bye.